Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we are going to learn how to run command prompt and python command sequentially using C sharp. So let's get started. First I'm going to create a new class called cmd service. Next I'm just going to set up my using statements. Now I'm ready to add process field that enables you to start and stop local system processes, a stream writer for writing characters to a stream, auto reset event that represents a thread synchronization event that when signaled resets automatically after releasing a single waiting thread and a string as cmd output. In the constructor, I'm going to create a new instances of the process class and auto reset event class, as well as set my cmd output to strict.empty. I will also create a new instance of process start info class that later on I'm going to assign to our process instance. Set the file name property to cmd path, use shell execute to false, we're going to redirect the standard input and standard output, and we're going to set create no window to true. In order to receive data from the command prompt, we have to subscribe to the output data received event and we are almost all set. Now we can actually execute begin output read line that will begin a synchronous read operation on the redirected standard output. Next we are going to create our execute command function. Inside we are going to reset our cmd output to strict.empty and we are going to execute the command given as input to the function as well as we're going to execute echo end. Then we're going to stop the execution of the main thread until a result is returned. Now we're actually ready to implement the output data received event handler. Inside we're going to store the command prompt output into our cmd string output that we actually declared earlier. It's important to also mention that this method is executed asynchronously and it is firing as long as there is something to be read from the command prompt output. This means that we need to resume the execution on the main thread by calling output wait handle dot set method when the output from the command prompt is null or when the output string contains the word end. Next I'm going to make this class implement a disposable interface. This will allow me to dispose of all used resources. Now let's switch over to program.cs and write our demo application. Finally, I'm just going to create a new instance of our CMD service class, read the user input, execute the command and just print the output.
Now let's run the application. 